Hey, welcome back guys. D7Cs here. I know it's been a minute, but I'm glad to uh, bring you this video. This is uh, going to be a straight up unboxing, uh, very first impressions of the Hinder Eclipse 3.5 Bowie. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Today I'm going to be using my Spyderco Swayback. I don't know why this knife doesn't get as much love as I feel like it deserves, you know? Um, when I first saw this knife um, in the Spyderco catalog, I think it came out about a year ago. Honestly, I thought like it was going to be a lot more popular than it is. I thought it was going to be sold out everywhere. But as of today, I think it's still, uh, you could still pick this up. This is honestly one of the best spiderclaws I've ever handled. Uh, so yeah, I'm just a little puzzled why uh, it didn't get a more uh, warmer reception, but man, I absolutely love this knife. So anyways, moving on, um, this is the package. It didn't come like this. I just took off the labeling that you know shows like my information and whatnot. So trust me, it does not come like all raggedy like this guy, so. Um, yeah, but I, I have not even opened this up yet. Um, so I'll go ahead and use this. See, this is why the Swayback is such a great knife. It has a really deep hollow grind. It has a really functional tip. You know, um, I use the pinch grip a lot. So, you know, a lot of the cuts, as you see, I'm doing, you know, this is how I'm really using my knife, you know, as you can see. And so, yeah, this is such an awesome knife. I'm, I'm just puzzled, honestly, why people don't like this knife as much as I think they you know this knife really deserves anyways man i, I sorry the video is not about the playback this is it's going to be about this guy right here so let me just make sure um sorry guys yeah i think that's all there is in here so i got this knife from southern edge uh, or southern edges uh oh my god this is the first knife i'm getting from them and man they're they're an excellent source for you know all your knife buying needs man if you're looking to get a knife uh, they have a great just selection of a, a bunch of knives so this is actually a, a southern edge uh, exclusive so i don't think you could pick up this configuration anywhere else uh, as you can see comes with the sticker i don't know why but this illustration kind of reminds me of um the christmas story or something like that just kind of has like that vintage kind of um uh, uh look about it you know, interesting you know so southernedges.com yeah check check them out guys and and when i was when i first got this like i said this is an exclusive only to them so this is, uh, yeah, ugh, this is an awesome, awesome configuration. Um, as you can see, here's a box, fairly straightforward. You know, Hinder is just really not known for any like fancy packaging or anything. It's just pretty standard cardboard box. And as you open it up, as you can see here, so put that over here. So it comes in this pouch and just before I continue on so here's southern southern <laughs> edges yeah you could pause it real quick and check them out i really recommend them uh the reason being is uh when i saw this knife on their website um i saw that they had a layaway plan and um not a lot of uh well as far as i'm concerned there's not a lot of, of, of vendors out there that have like a really solid legit like layaway plans but they do and they're very they're very uh their customer service is awesome they'll work with you uh as you can see hand assembled and tuned by amanda yoder okay cool thank you amanda i'm sure uh this is going to be awesome uh, and then this is the triway pivot system. So it goes, it's already pre installed with the uh, bearing uh, system. So they also give you the option to switch it out with the phosphor bronze washers or the Teflon, uh, which is awesome. And then they give you the instructions how to do that here. Uh, you got stickers. I'll put that right there. And here's a knife. Um, so going back to Southern Edges, before I go into this knife, sorry guys, I just, I really do got to give a shout out. Their customer service is excellent. So when I put, uh, when I got this knife, I called them up. They picked up almost immediately and they answered all my questions regarding this knife. And then I had to call them again a second time and I'm pretty sure maybe they're annoyed at me, but yeah, immediately he recognized my voice and you know, they're just, 
oh, I don't, you get to talk to a live person, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like in this day and age, you don't get that experience so often, you know, especially when you're working with companies and stuff out there. But man, this knife uh, shop, man, they, they're, they're just great. They're just great. I, I really highly recommend them, especially if you want to get this particular knife in this configuration. Like I said, it's exclusive to them. So I picked the, uh, the blue G10 uh, and the working finish. Uh, both on the titanium side and the blade. So let me just go ahead and do my first flip. Ooh, hold up, hold that was weak sauce. There you go, there you go. Oh my goodness. This thing, wow. Wow, oh wow. So let me see here. Yeah, the blade is centered. Um, oh my God, look at this. This is my first working finish um, hinder and I really like it. Man, look at, oh, it just looks really nice. I love the blue G10. Uh, I have the three inch uh, Warncliffe in the same uh, blue G10 as well. And um, wow, look at that. The lockup is just solid. I'd say it's about 25%. Yeah, just, I mean, typical hinder, you know, quality craftsmanship. Oh my God, this is so comfortable in the hand. Uh, just right off the bat, I would say this is more comfortable than my XM18. <laughs> um, I think it's really that I, I'm a big fan of, of double finger choils. Um, I have the large and cozy in that double finger choil, um, you know, it's very similar to that. Just really locks my, my small to medium sized hands. And then I, I really like how they didn't have, they don't have that jimping up here. So it's just a very pleasant like landing zone. And for for my thumb and I could just you know move my thumb forward unfortunately there's no finger choil which I don't I don't really mind at all but you know as you can see I could really you know put my finger forward like this if I want to really you know just put some force behind my cut but yeah so far one of the things I also noticed right off the bat is the the detent seems a little less like intense uh, than my XM18 3 inch Warren Cliff you know, uh, with that, I wish I had it in hand. I don't have it. Actually, let me see if I can pull it out. Give me one second, guys. Okay. All right, ass. I do have it here. So as you can see here, I feel like the detent on this guy is really strong. It's very strong, very just definitive. Um, for this guy here, I just feel like it's a little softer. Like I don't need to use as much pressure to engage the blade there. So yeah, it's interesting. I, I like that. I like that. I feel like it's easier on my, my finger and I'm sure my finger will thank me in the long run. But yeah, guys, I honestly haven't even laid eyes on it. I'm just looking at this knife through the camera. So <laughs> let me just go ahead and, and check this out. This is just a close up. You know, that working finish, man, it's just something about it. It just it gives it that apocalyptic kind of feel. And I just love that. I love how the uh, Hinder does their blue G10. It just really pops, you know. Um, it just gives a knife some, just some like fun flair, you know. But yeah, oh man, this thing is so smooth, guys. Just right out of the box. I mean, it's just smooth. It just takes very little effort to for that blade to just go down on its own. Man, oh man. Honestly, I thought it was gonna, I thought the, the flipping experience would be very similar to this XM18, but actually it's, it's fairly different. It's different enough that if you're kind of like on the fence and you're wondering if it's worth it to get uh, an Eclipse, I'd say go for it just because, oh man, I feel like it's a little bit more refined, um, a little bit more just, just smooth out of the box. It's just very glassy smooth. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't, like I said, I don't, I just have to barely shake it for it to just go down. Oh my God, I, I love this knife, guys. Man, this knife is, <laughs> this is, this is awesome. This is so awesome. Oh man, I, I love the profile of this knife, guys. Look at that, dude, that, that Bowie blade shape, you know, just with that, Eclipse body, poo wee. Uh, I don't know what about ah, this thing. Just man, it is so good, I, just so uh, visually appealing. And then just a feel in the hand, it just feels really good. 
Anyways, that, this is my first impressions. I'm gonna go ahead and carry it and use it, and then I'll 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 give you guys a more like in-depth, full-on review, including the specs. For my unboxing first impressions, I don't really like to go too much into it. This is just like like literally just take it fresh out of the box. But first impressions are very positive. Oh man, this is this is yeah, this is legit, guys. Look at that. Let me give you guys a close up of that working finish on the blade as well. Um, you know, I have here, this my XM18, this is a stone wash. So maybe you could kind of see, it might be kind of hard to tell the difference because of the lighting, but there's more of like a gray uh, hue on the working finish versus the stone wash. It has more of like that glimmer. Um, this is, yeah, I see the light, it reflects off of the stone wash more than the working finish. I feel like the working finish kind of absorbs the light, so it doesn't really reflect as much. And then uh, here's a lock side, yeah. See, it, it has kind of like a darker kind of a tone, uh, which I really like. See, so it doesn't, it's not as reflective as like the regular stone wash. Man, God, guys. Oh my gosh, if you could get one of these, I believe uh, Southern Edges may still have these available. Uh, I'm not too sure guys, oh, if you do see it available and you're just kind of on the fence and you're able to swing it like just financially, just uh, pull the trigger. Uh, this is, <laughs> this is, a, an, oh man. Yeah, my first impressions of these, uh, this is just yes, yes, yes. Or as Miley Cyrus says, yas, yas. Anyways, uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments or um, anything like that, just drop them down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this guy. Uh, with that being said, um, thanks so much for watching, and you guys have a great day. Bye now.